I look really great. <laughs> So I'm still feeling a bit sick this morning, to be honest. But I also just realized that it's our last day on our temporary import for Bumblebee in Russia. We got 10 days when we arrived and today is the 10th day. So it doesn't matter how I feel, we've got to ride to the border today. But first, free breakfast. <laughs> We got a beautiful breakfast this morning of eggs, cheese, bread, pancakes, some tea. I don't know what those are, but anyway. Never seen in his life, hey? Bon appetit! Good morning world! Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Ulan Ude in far eastern Russia. And yesterday we had a day off to try to recover because over the last week we both got head colds. And uh, unfortunately one day was not really enough because I still don't feel too great but we really got to get out of Russia today so let me show you guys where we're heading today okay so we have finally crossed all of Siberia and we are now here and today we are heading to the border which is here so we're gonna be heading down this road crossing over here and hopefully finding an accommodation somewhere around here or maybe here. So we're not going to push ourselves too hard today. The aim is just to get across the border into Mongolia and then we'll pretty much find the first hotel we can find or a hotel within an hour of the border. Yes, it's about 150 miles to the border, which is about three hours. It's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. Oh, oh. we are just getting rainproofed here. Just as we're about to leave as well. Yeah. It doesn't look good. <coughs> no. I also rainproofed my shoes with some tape and a plastic bag. Yeah, ready to hit the road, hey? It will be a wet one. Unfortunately as well, it means we have to take off the media mod. So we won't be able to talk to you guys on the bike, at least until the rain stops. <laughs> Wearing your bin bag, hey? <laughs> wow. Stylish and practical. Perish fashion show, I'm coming. <laughs> Just putting on another layer because it's really cold now, cold and wet. And also I had to uh, have a nose blowing break. <laughs> also I just saw on the odometer that we just hit 34,000 miles on the road. Okay, let's continue with the raid. We're just warming up with a nice coffee here. We are just five minutes from the border now. We have removed our rear camera because we don't want to look too crazy when we arrive there. Let's hope that the process will be quite easy and nice. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, coffee time is over. It's time to take on this border, hey? Woo! Ready to leave Russia and head into Mongolia? Yes, I am ready. Oh yeah. 
Well, anyway, our temporary import permit finishes today, so <laughs> I don't care if you're ready. We're doing it anyway. Yes. We're crossing this border today. Yeah, we have to, really, we have to. I mean, yesterday, Oli was really casual checking our uh, tempor temporary import permit, and it's like, oh my God, it expires actually tomorrow. Yeah. Yesterday, we just had a day off, recovering a bit, and it was kind of like, oh, should we have another day off? I looked at the temporary import permit, I'm like, uh, no, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're going to turn off the cameras now because the border time is here. One eternity later. What time is it? Is it five o'clock? Oh my goodness, it's taken us four hours to get to where we are now. I think this is the last barrier. Oh, uh, is there still one? I thought that's it. Well, we can just go past it because we are on a bike. I'm not sure. Let me see. No, I think we should wait because what is this office here? No idea. Do we have to jump off or not? Ah, okay. He wants me to park? Yeah. Okay. I just go in a circle and park. Okay, I'm just gonna turn my camera off. <laughs> I thought we were done. <laughs> we're not done. All right, now we are really, really done for real. <laughs> we are Yay! through the last barrier. Actually, that last bit there was insurance. So they actually make you buy the insurance before they even let you into the country, which I guess just makes the process much, much easier because you don't have to go and find it. Yeah, and it was quite cheap as well. I, I think it was seven pounds. That was all we had to pay. Yeah. No road tax, no import permit costs. No, it was everything was for free. Yes. And all we had to pay was seven pounds for insurance, but it did take a long 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 time four hours in total to do all the process 99 percent of that was just waiting around first on the russian side we were just waiting in a very long queue because they only allow like five or six cars into the gated search area per like at a time but then they had to search everything and they were searching all the cars yeah really you had to open every bag and every car had to open everything like they were going around with mirrors uh, to check underneath the cars they were going around like everything and you won't believe it but in the search area i left the keys to the bike on and uh, the bike went flat the battery went flat <laughs> yes which is absolutely ridiculous but yeah the battery went flat so then we had to jump start it from somebody else who was being searched move the bike over to them and be like oh whilst you're getting searched and your bonnet's already up could we just hook our <laughs> jump starter cables so i don't know the battery's going dead more often recently yeah than it used is, to be yeah which is a little yeah. scary but anyway we got the bike started and then on the mongolian side we had to get our new temporary import permit and get our passport stamped but again Again, it was like one window for the customs people and there was a huge queue of other Mongolian people coming in and I was kind of just waiting patiently like okay I've got to get my permit eventually but man that took ages to get to the front of this queue which wasn't really a queue but more of a crowd trying to get to one man at one window it was really messy on the Mongolian side wow anyway eventually we went through all the processes got the temporary import permit got our passport stamped and that's it we're in welcome Yay! to Mongolia <laughs> nice and look, there's already some gets. That's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy, really. I'm so happy. Because, oh my God, we forgot to tell you, whilst waiting in the queue to exit Russia, they already pulled us out. And we had sort of a, um, like an interview, why we went to Russia and what is our uh, plan of the trip and what is going on, like pretty much, what are you doing here? And she asked us like loads of questions for like yeah. half an hour and I was just like shivering, like, oh my God. <laughs> like every country that we went to on the trip so far, like the home address, phone number in England, phone number in Russia. So many things. Like they really wanted to know everything and then kind of he was looking in the passport at every single stamp. It was a little bit hairy, hey? I just can't deal with something like that, you know. I'm so 
Oh, scared. But also, whilst we were waiting in the queue, uh, a guy from Mongolia called Iba actually came up to us and started chatting to us. Yeah, and so pretty much we're just following him now because he said, okay, if you want a um, SIM card, follow me. I will show you the place where you can get it. And also, if you don't have a place to stay for tonight, I would like to invite you to my place. So, yeah, it should be quite cool because he's a really, really nice dude. He speaks perfectly English. He told me already that he uh, spent some years in America while studying. And yeah, it would be really cool to arrive in Mongolia and already make friends. The first actual small town coming up, I can actually see up ahead. So perhaps we're going to stop there and get a SIM card first and then carry on to his city, which I think is called Dacha. Anyway, it's so cool to be here in country number 25 on our trip around the world. Yeah, I'm so Mongolia. happy. <laughs> so amazing. Oh it's just... my God. This is definitely another milestone to have reached Mongolia because, you know, with what is going on in the world at the moment is always like this, this border crossing was scary. A lot of people were apprehensive for us going into Russia and we didn't really know what the situation was going to be to go in, what the situation was going to be to go out, you know, just what might happen to us being from the UK and Germany riding through Russia. 10 days later, after leaving Vladivostok, here we are yeah. into Mongolia. Exactly. We did and, it. And I must say as well that everyone is actually really, really friendly to us, especially in Russia. Everyone was really welcoming. I've been blown away by our first experience of the Russian people, really. Everyone that we met so far, they've always been like, that's amazing. And then we show them the trip and they're just like, wow, that's so good. And they're just so interested in the bike and the journey. Very Let's cool. see how the Mongolian people are but we've already been invited <laughs> yeah. to a guy's place and we've already just come into the border that's a good start to Mongolia hello <laughs> <laughs> Mongolian cow Mongolian cow on the road yeah so we're just coming into the first town of Mongolia and no they do not all live in yurts <laughs> there are real buildings in Mongolia real multi-story apartments yeah they look actually quite modern and nice yeah hopefully we will actually get to stay in a yurt or as they call them in Mongolia a ger that would actually be really nice yeah well no the sim card place was closed unfortunately Mobicom is the name um, so we'll have to get a sim card tomorrow but now we just said to Eba that we were really really hungry and he's like yeah we're really hungry too so <laughs> In this town, before we continue any further, we're gonna go and get something to eat. So we're here with this amazing, massive pizza, and we're here with Eber and Yana. Hello. Hey, hey guys, how are you? And they've taken us to this place that has pizza, it has kebabs, it has chicken, it has everything here. It's amazing, and we were all really, really hungry after a long border crossing. So it's time to dig in. You. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. Camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! You want to say hello? <laughs> England, England, France, Senegal, Brazil, and uh, Argentina, Canada, South Korea, Vladivostok, today, Mongolia. <laughs> we have antibiotics. Okay, do you want to start taking them now? No, no, I think I'll nope. wait and see. Take okay. this one. Yes. Take this one. I'll have this one and then and then see how it goes. If like you have like like worst condition ever, then you take this. Okay. Otherwise don't take it. Yes. But he's a man, it's always worse than you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's always worse. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my god, look at this! <gasps> Whoa! No way! <laughs> There's a whole herd of goats crossing the road. <laughs> a huge herd of goats. Wow. How cute! Oh my god! Oh, and there's wow. the herd of there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How cute. Oh my god, we're just riding along here and it gets nicer and nicer and nicer. I'm so impressed with Mongolia already and it's been just like 30 minutes, you know. <laughs> Beautiful mountains. Yeah, wow, look at this mountain vista up ahead. Wow. <laughs> All the way along here. Amazing mountains. <laughs> Welcome to Mongolia. Oh yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Another roadblock! <laughs> no way, that's <laughs> crazy. You see, fences are quite important sometimes because otherwise, look what happens. The fences are boring. <laughs> the herd of cows just decided, hey, let's go across the road now. This is the perfect time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's amazing. That's nice. So we've had a herd of cows. We've had a herd of goats. <laughs> <laughs> what's on. next what's next a herd of camels and it's really nice you can see here on the left the nomadic gears cool that's so cool yeah and there's gears kind of all over this valley here so you can really see that the people here really are living semi-nomadic lives packing these gears up and actually moving around the landscape setting up their home as they go along oh, what's happening here oh i think somebody's got stuck oh, okay it's like you have in your mind what Mongolia is all about and then you come in and within like an hour of being in Mongolia it's like yep that's exactly what I imagined herds of cattle herds of goats mountains in the background grassland gears amazing incredible yeah ticked all the boxes Mongolia you did it <laughs> yes <laughs> So we've just arrived here in Dahan, which is Eva's hometown. And we're actually going to be staying with these guys tonight, which is super cool because actually Eva is working uh, for a YouTube channel, which has something to do with Mongolian culture. We haven't checked out the channel yet, but it's going to be really interesting to see what that's all about. Hopefully he can give us some good pointers on where to go, and what to see and how to experience Mongolia in the best way. But yes, yeah, so far, it's been such an incredibly nice ride like we had so many horses passing us and yeah it just looks like an animal park here a lot of it i couldn't record with my gopro because the camera battery died and we only just changed it when we got into town but we passed massive massive herds of horses and goats and cattle and i couldn't believe it but on the top of the hill at one point we saw a group of camels yes it was absolutely insane <laughs> we've already seen a group of camels We've only been here for like half a day. Incredible, man. Mongolia is really, really incredible. I can't wait to get out there uh, and explore more of the wilderness of, of Mongolia and camp out there as well. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, and we had already so many people coming up to our bike and jumping on our bike and taking pictures with us and waving. Oh man, the people here seem so nice and open-minded wow we didn't even get into the country and we were already invited to stay with someone yeah we're off to a really good start <laughs> okay so a little bit of off-road to get to Eva's house <laughs> nice
Yeah, Iba told us that he uh, used to live in Ulaanbaatar. He moved there from here to there, but then he said he moved back because it was just too busy, too polluted, and he just really liked it in, in his hometown. And I can understand why. I mean, look around you, all the mountains surrounding you. It's beautiful. Wow, look at this way. <laughs> wow. Oh That's wild. No way, look at this. What? <laughs> Whoa. He has like the most modern and beautiful house ever. Wow! This is, this is your place? No way! Are you a designer? That looks so cool! Welcome home! <laughs> wow! Good evening guys! We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> this is where we'll be sleeping tonight! <laughs> Amazing! I like the wall color a lot! Especially with this light! I don't know if you guys can see but it's got like crystals on it! And it makes a really nice pattern all over the walls. It's getting really dark, but I just want to show you guys the view from this property. Look at this. So it's just open fields and hills in the background at the end of Eva's garden. How cool is that? We will sleep here. Eva and Jana sleeping next to us. Look at this bedroom. Oh, cool, eh? So cool. We're doing like a do, tour. Do a tour of the house. <laughs> okay. It's not fully done yet, but you can you can look around. I really, really like this wall, like carpet mural. Genghis Khan. Oh, that, oh that's, that's, ah. that's Genghis Khan. Yes, it is. It is. Ah. And how, how do you say Genghis Khan? Genghis Ching Khan. Genghis Khan. Yes. And then you've got like a rabbit and a dragon. That's uh, 12 years. Yeah, I we see. represent 12 years by the animals. So it starts ah. with mice. Uh, we call it rat. rat. Of I see, and it keeps going like this. Is it the same as the Chinese calendar? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. How long ago did you build this? For a year and a half, I guess. The frame was built by like professionals. Okay. The and entire thing is and... like everything was made by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. It's so good. Everything. It's so good. <laughs> like even the stairs and the stairs. Wow. I made it all by myself. You did all of the stairs Crazy. and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you've yeah. made it really and nice. Even, even you know the feeling when you like uh, build something and it's finished and you're like, yes. yes. I did this, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. so nice. I can't imagine. Well, we put a bed into a camper van yeah. uh, and that was as much as we did. And we're, but we were kind of, <laughs> it was just like a board. Yeah. Uh, that was basically it. Yeah, awesome. Bravo. <laughs> bravo, bravo. bravo. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. We'll see you next time. Bang. Okay. <laughs> Mongolia. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>